Hello and welcome back to Would You Rather Wednesday. I'm your host, David N. Ark, and I know this is Thursday. It's a day late, dollar short, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, this is where we answer life's pressing questions like this one. Would you rather work for Apple and know all their secrets or work for Google and know all their secrets? <laughs> However, it says you can't sell or tell anyone else what you've learned. So you'd know all the secrets, but you kind of have to keep it to yourself and I don't know, hope for the best. I don't know. Use it to your advantage. I don't know what that means. Um, uh, wow. Okay. I, 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 I'll tell you, I would, I would go to work for Google so that I could know all their secrets so that I could at least pretend to have some semblance of understanding as to what the fruit they are doing with YouTube because YouTube's a mess for creators for advertisers it's just it's it's a mess so I would work for Google so that I could figure that out and then now it says I couldn't tell anybody what I learned however there are ways to uh, demonstrate and communicate things that you know without directly saying what you know. So I would go for Google and figure out the YouTube thing and theoretically be able to take what I learn and help Google slash YouTube fix all their crap. So there you go. Other than that, I have no opinion. <laughs> all right. 66% of the respondents agree. Look at that. 951,000 people are like, yeah, let's work for Google. All right. So how about, would you rather enact net neutrality as a law or enact the Stop Online Piracy Act as a law? Uh, when it's done, what's done is done. The new law of your choice cannot be repealed, removed, etc. Um, okay. I have to be honest with you. I don't know much about the Stop Online Piracy Act. Uh, I know way too much about net neutrality. Um, and uh, all of the folks who are trying to end and or modify net neutrality basically for the purposes of uh, big business getting bigger and raking in all the dough. I, I would, net neutrality, I, I would, I, I don't, Nothing is going to stop piracy. There's nothing you can do. Um, you know, it's it's a lot like anything else illegal. Those who are bent on doing illegal activities will always find a way to do those illegal activities. Um, I, I think I may have talked about a similar situation in, in a previous video, but, you know, it's, it's a lot to me. It's a lot like radar detectors, right? So police came out with radar detectors to detect if people were going fast. Well, and then to counteract that, there were, uh, you know, well, I'm sorry, police came out with radar and then there came out with radar detectors to detect the police radar. That grew into another uh, business, which is radar detector detectors, which allow the police to detect whether or not you have a radar detector. And that, of course, spawned yet another category of radar detector detector detectors. You know what I'm saying? So now I could, in my car, I could detect whether or not the police officer had a radar detector. It's stupid, all right? But it is what it is. Folks that are bent on breaking the law are going to find ways to break the law. So you can have all the online piracy, you know, stopping acts that you want to. When push comes to shove, it's not going to do anything because people will ultimately find ways around that. Net neutrality, on the other hand, the internet is open for anyone, anywhere, regardless of who your ISP is, regardless of uh, of, of what you're doing online. I, I, I get with, you know, outside of illegal activities. But again, those folks doing illegal activities online are going to find ways to do illegal activities online. There's just no way around it. it if there was, no one would be doing anything illegal anywhere at any time, whether online or not. Obviously, that's not what happens. So I would say I would enact the net neutrality as law versus some stupid attempt to stop online piracy. So there you go. As it turns out, it's a 58-42. Not as big of a difference as I th thought it would be. I don't know. Maybe there's a bunch of corporate yahoos that are, you know, 
jumping all over the stop online piracy versus net neutrality. I don't know. <laughs> right, so there you go. I don't know. And and I want to know, uh, you know, if you are against net neutrality, I want to know why. You give me solid reasons why net neutrality is a bad thing. And I would love to have that discussion down in the comment section below. All right. I think we've had this question before. Would you rather make out with Gollum or hook up with Beetlejuice? I'm going to go with neither um, because, ugh. <laughs> uh, but since we have to pick one, um, I don't really care to hook up with anybody from a movie that I can think of off the top of my head, to be perfectly honest. Even, even the movies where there might be possibly be someone who would even entertain that thought in my head still the the whole premise and concept is ludicrous so uh, not that this whole thing right here isn't but i guess make out with Gollum. i don't know i guess if he calls me precious the whole time why not <laughs> i don't know man. oh these are weird questions man okay well <clears throat> Would you rather be sick for the rest of your life or kill two puppies? What? What? I guess this is, you know, this is like the whole animal lover thing, right? Because if you pick kill two puppies, then you must hate animals. Not necessarily. It could be, I don't want to be sick for the rest of my life. And frankly, killing two anonymous puppy dogs in the scheme of all of the puppies that ever were and ever will be. Eh, you know, how do I feel about that, though? Being sick for the rest of your life? I mean, it doesn't say how sick you are, so define sick. <laughs> Some people would say the killing the two puppies, you're already falling under the sick category, so there you go. Um, I don't know. This is, oh. I guess for the sake of argument, I will say be sick for the rest of your life. Uh, whatever. All right. I, I don't know. I'm very tempted to pick kill two puppies just because I would love <laughs> this. Now this is where the sick comes in. I would love to see if I pick kill two puppies, I would love to see the comments around the, the, uh, the idea of picking kill two puppies, just because I'm pretty sure that it would flip some folks out, you know, especially if maybe they're just kind of fast forwarding through the video, not really listening to what, why I was picking kill two puppies. The only reason why I would pick kill two puppies in this particular scenario is specifically for the reaction in the comments. Not that I would ever actually choose that, but just because the reaction in the comments. So I'm going to pick be sick for the rest of your life. <clears throat> wow. 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 I, that actually surprises me. Um, so I wonder if, if, if most people have picked that for similar reasons that I did, you're picking it, you know, kind of like, you know, ironically or jokingly, or, you know, with the intention of ha ha, this is what I picked. I don't know. Let me, I, I want to hear, I want to know what you guys think about this particular question. Cause it is so, uh, these, this round is tough, boy. This is okay. <clears throat> if you played football for a living, would you rather play quarterback or linebacker? And it is spelled football, not F U T. So we are talking American football here <clears throat> versus soccer. Um, I tr honestly would rather play quarterback than linebacker. Um, just because I, I just, I always thought it would be cool to be the one who was leading the troops as it were, um, offensively down the field. I, I don't know. I just, I love the whole idea that, that you have to figure out who's going where and, and who's moving where and who's going to be at a particular place at a particular time. I just, I think it would be for me much more fun to play quarterback than linebacker. Um, either of the positions are going to get your, you're going to get knocked on your butt many, many times. So, you know, getting hurt or injured or any that kind of stuff that doesn't even come into play. This is all about for me anyway, this is all about would I rather, you know, would I rather be in charge of the offense or presumably, um, 
I guess this would be in charge of the defense in a way, right? I don't know. I'm going to pick quarterback. There you go. Wow. 72% of folks would rather play quarterback. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> well, we're going to get eaten either way. So, would you rather be eaten by a lion or eaten by ants? Oh, no. I would much rather be eaten by a lion because I'm assuming, and this, I know it's a dangerous assumption, but I'm assuming that getting eaten by a lion would would be a much quicker way to go than being eaten by just millions of ants crawling all over you and taking tiny little bites and just getting in your mouth and in your nose. And Oh, no, I, I would take eaten by a lion any day of the week. Look at that, 86%. Over a million people are like, yeah, I'll get eaten by a lion. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't I don't blame you. I'm right there with you. Okay, this is going to be the last one. Would you rather be visited by ancient aliens or be visited by mole people? Neither would be hostile. The mole people would live in the middle of the earth. Well, of course they would. Where else would mole people live? Um, so I think I would rather be visited by ancient aliens because... I, I, I don't even have a reason. <laughs> I mean, just I, well. Here, let me put it this way: I don't have a reason that I would want to be visited by mole people. Why would I? I, I don't. Granted, I don't really have a reason for wanting to be visited by ancient aliens, other than I have zero reason for mole people. Ancient aliens, I think, would be cool. Again, neither would be hostile. So I think that. If there were a such thing as ancient aliens and you could meet with them and, of course, communicate with them, then I think it would be cool to talk to them about what they did, um, where they went, uh, you know, if had they been to Earth before, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to pick visited by ancient aliens. Look at there. 80-20. Most folks would rather be visited by ancient aliens awesome stuff there you go i don't know let me know what are your thoughts give me your questions problems suggestions horror stories things that you think about any of the questions that we had in this episode of would you rather i want to i want to hear about it i want to talk about it let's have that down in the comment section below and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time on would you rather